So I've been hearing a lot about Keefe D. Is he out of jail or is he getting out of jail? He's not out. Last I heard from the bail bonds when they was clearing his house arrest. All this time I've left my money in the bond of my real estate in place. They went back for a second hearing. And what the attorneys is telling me, the judge was in favor of everything we provided for the bond. So last I knew they were clearing his house arrest. He's in Nevada, so it's a little different. Okay. There's been reports that he's given up Diddy. Um, the only report we can go off of is him in court. And the reason why that's hard to believe because his only court proceedings has been the bail proceedings. He's not due to start, start trial, I think, until November or top of 2025. So where would he, keep ED, give up Diddy? Or is it just a blogger putting some shit out there? You got to give him up to the district attorney or in court, right? Well, it was reported by the news, but it was a little, like, I couldn't really understand what, you know what I'm saying? They said he was mentioned a whole bunch of times, but it was like, because it could have been from the proffer agreement. They weren't really exactly clear about when Keefe D. Is said there a this. proffer agreement? A proffer agreement in Los Angeles don't count. They can't use it. Right. They can't use it. So whatever proffer he gave him in L.A. has nothing to do with the last 10 months he's been in Nevada County Jail. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he said, I don't even think the police officers that he proffered with could take the stand. I don't think so either. So, did he but proffer in LA? It, but it is tricky though. And the reason why it's tricky is because part of the proffer agreement is that him saying, like, if he lies, the proffer agreement isn't any good. So if he's over there saying he lied, it's kind of like, well, can they use it? Well, no, can he's saying he lied it? in podcasts. See, y'all, listen, one thing you got in front of you, you got a seasoned vet. I'm not a rapper. I'm not one of these mother point decks. I don't speak to you from YouTube. I speak to you from knowledge, right? He says he lied on YouTube, on Vlad TV, right? He never said he lied in his L.A. proffer because he knows that the L.A. proffer cannot be used. He knows that. I don't, I don't think he said about a specific podcast or show. I think he said he lied about that he didn't do it. No, well, he never proffered that he did it. He, absol he absolutely KVD did proffer. KVD has never said he pulled the trigger. You're a liar. No, no, he said he was in the car. That's, okay, what that's he's not being doing charged it. with. So let me ask you something. You he's say not whack. being charged of pulling the trigger. You say whack. Hey, run me to the store real quick. I want to grab something before you get up out of here. I go to the store, I blow a motherfucker at the light. You in the car. Did you do it? Bro, but that's. Did you want me to do it? That's not the same that situation. It is, you don't know the situation because you weren't there. I know what he said in the pro in the in on the on the tape. The proffer? Yeah. That can't be used. Don't matter what he said. Okay. They cannot use that. They can't use it. It's stipulated right, in the proffer. I wasn't Okay. Yeah, I don't I kinda know. Well, what did really he say? I want to hear what he said. What you tell me he said? But what I'm saying is if he's saying he's lying, or that, that he, I don't think he never saying? said he lied in the proffer. He don't care what the proffer says because they can't use it. They cannot present that in that courtroom to that jury. Can't do it. But I believe I've been hearing him saying, I got paid, right? I got paid to do these things and say what I said. Uh, he has been saying these things because they contacted Vlad to see if that was true. Vlad refused to return the phone call. Yeah, they contacted me. Yeah, refused to return the call. I lost my footage. My, my hard drive broke. Yeah, so I don't have it. End of the day, whatever footage is up is up, but Vlad did his interview based off the book anyway. So, you know, end of the day, Trying to give him a fighting chance. He's 60 years old. He got cancer and shit. You know it looks a little better? You walking in the court with a suit and coming in in a jumpsuit. You know, conduct a little business, you know, eventually. But you know, KPD, uh, he's not a convicted criminal. He's accused. In the good old USA, it's innocent 
until proven guilty. Facts. Facts. What do you think? You think I shouldn't have touched it? You think I shouldn't have bailed him? You think he doesn't deserve to be free and fight in his case? What you think, Cam? You I met Keepy D. I don't have a problem with him being free and fighting his case. No, he's innocent until proven guilty. There we go. You see? Me and you spent just the, probably the same amount of time. How many times you interview Keefe? Just once. A couple hours? Uh, I don't really remember how, how long He came to see me in my studio once for a couple hours. Yeah. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.